what's up so it is the next day from when i filmed what you guys are about to see i was debating on just posting this choppy video or if i wanted to do like a sit down video and talk about it with you guys but i'm just going to post um what i did what i like filmed yesterday because i don't know it was like my feelings in the moment my like raw feelings and expressions i feel like if i did like a sit down talk through video today it would just be like oh hey guys this is what happened yesterday but anyways i really hope you guys enjoy this video it is going to be a vlog style pregnancy update um there i was going to vlog yesterday but like my appointments took up the whole day so you guys will see what i'm talking about i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and yeah i hope you guys hey guys happy thursday uh let's let's have a little chat okay so i had my 37 week appointment this morning and you guys know i've been like anxious and stuff for my last two appointments because i thought for sure they were going to check me or do some kind of testing and it never happened so i went in this morning and they were just supposed to measure me and they were just supposed to measure me take my blood pressure listen to the heartbeat send me on my way and I think I was also supposed to sign um, some papers, but I didn't do that. And I'll tell you guys why. I think we were all caught off guard. I didn't sign the papers. Like, I think I was going to fill out like admission paperwork. So if I go into labor, everything is ready and they can just start doing what they need to do. But when she measured my stomach, while she was measuring it, I was like, you know what? Like when I left the house, I was like, I'm going to ask today if she knows or if she can guess about how big he is blah 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 because i've watched pregnancy vlogs or pregnancy updates where they're like baby's measuring this much and so i was like why don't they do that for me <laughs> but anyways she's measuring me and she's taking longer than usual she's taking longer to measure me and she was like he must be stretched out today and i'm like why is she telling me this she is like he must be stretched out or something and i'm like where is she going with this she's like you're measuring 40 weeks and i was like what <laughs> i'm 37 weeks that's like three weeks ahead okay that's like three weeks ahead she's like i'm gonna order an ultrasound for today okay just so we can make sure that he is he has enough fluid in there and I was like, okay. And so she left the room and I was like, what the heck? Now I'm like a ball of nerves. My appointment was at 10 and I think I left at 10.30. What, baby? Put it on your legs. It's now 11.43. I have to go back to the doctor at 1.30. Well, not at 1.30. My appointment is at 1.30 for the ultrasound because they didn't have any spots this morning. And so yeah, we're gonna go back, or I'm gonna go back at 1.30 to get an ultrasound done to see how big he is and to make sure there's enough fluid. And it's not even that big of a deal. I wouldn't be so nervous, but I have heard before that if there's not enough fluid, like if it comes back that there's not enough fluid, that they will induce you. And I really do not want to be induced. So like fingers crossed, everything is fine. Hopefully he was like just stretched out. Hopefully I, I just, I'm not ready. <laughs> I thought it's last three weeks, like a week and a half at least. I don't care if he comes early, just like not now. Because we have work still. We, it's like every time, like I tell you guys all the time, every time we start to catch up, something happens. Like we just can't be caught up. It's not, it's not in the cards for us. And I'm really excited that I get ultrasound because I get to see him. And he will look pretty much like he's gonna look when he comes out because I'm 37 weeks. But in their books, I'm 36 weeks, six days. So me measuring 40 weeks, and that's so weird. I don't know how that happened in a week unless my last appointment, they didn't really pay attention when they were measuring me because it was a different doctor or if she didn't measure me right. I don't know, that's just really weird to me that I went to the doctor a week ago and I was on track. And now a week later, I'm measuring three weeks ahead. 
that's just weird so maybe he is stretched out maybe i'm just like worrying for nothing i'm in shock i told joel's mom she was like keep me updated but my mom is at work right now she gets off in 15 minutes so i'm trying to wait until she um gets off so i can call her and give her an update yeah also she saw my feet she was like your poor feet <laughs> i was like i know and it's like the morning and they're already this swollen this should be an interesting vlog I'm gonna try to record the ultrasound. Fingers crossed they'll let me. I'm gonna ask them if I can. If anything, I'll record it on my phone and then just insert the clip in here because I think that would be really cool to be able to have that, um, you know, for memories. I'm just like so excited to see what he looks like. Uh, hopefully everything is normal. I can continue my pregnancy. I don't have to be induced because of not enough fluid. I'm just, I don't know. Like this has never happened to me. That's why I'm like, every labor every pregnancy is different you never know like each of my kids i had a different labor and this is definitely new none of my kids measured three weeks ahead but anyways i've been talking long enough i will let you guys go probably the next time you see me or the next clip will be the ultrasound or you know something we'll figure it out but that is an update on what's going on with me and this pregnancy and my appointment from this month. I just got back from my ultrasound. It's good news, like everything's fine. My fluid level, his fluid level is 8.8. .8. She said that's not amazing, but it's not dangerous. The lowest, they don't like it any lower than eight. So she said I need to drink a ton of water and stay off my feet as much as possible. And I found out how much he weighs. This boy weighs 7.9 ounces or 7.9 pounds, whatever you want to say. He's definitely top in the scale, definitely taking the cake on the weight. Carson was my biggest baby and she was 6.14. He's going to be a chunk and I saw three weeks. So uh, for my sake, I want to uh, have him <laughs> ASAP before he gets any bigger. And I got video of the ultrasound. So I'll include that here in a minute, but I'm gonna show you the pictures, the 3D pictures that she got of him. So here is the first one. See his eyes, well this clip is in the way, hold on. So you can see his eyes, his nose, his hands were in his face pretty much the whole time because she said he was sleeping because I just had lunch. And then here's the next picture. Eyes, nose, mouth. Um, the shadowing is hair. She said he has a head full of hair. Here's another picture. His, his hands were in his face. Like you can see his little fingers right here in his eye. And then in this picture, his hands were in his face. So you probably won't be able to see him that well because it's all squished in there. I just can't believe that I have a 7.9 pound baby in my stomach right now. That's probably the reason why my pelvis feels like it's gonna freaking snap every day. Um, they did say that the ultrasound could be a pound off. That would be amazing if he was only 6.9 pounds. But I really feel like he's in the seven pounds already because I'm just hurting every day. So, that is the update. I'll include the footage of the ultrasound. I had to do it on my phone. I didn't take my camera inside because I was like running late. But I'll include that here. Every single
I just wanna love 